Good morning, folks. We've got some solar eruptions, an SVS animation, a double dose of Nova Science, and there's about 27 minutes of homework for observers if you didn't do it last night. Several eruptive features to see on the last day of the sun, two more filaments released only into the corona, and then two CMEs were produced by filaments earlier this morning. The one on the Earth-facing disk came off the southern departing quadrant, and the coronagraphs matched the expected trajectory seen by the released plasma. Bulb heading out to the right in this early image from the satellite this morning confirms it should just miss our planet. We've got several other eruption threats to watch today, but this is how the Dixie fire erupted, the path it took, and all of it is from satellite data. The Dixie fire was the largest in California history, and without the satellites, the fine detail of its progression would have been impossible due to the impossibility of getting into the middle of the thing to get the data on the ground. Link to the animation is below. Folks, we've been thumping a consistent tune in Nova Science for a while. They have no idea what they're doing. They keep discovering new kinds of Nova, keep inventing new names for Nova events, keep finding an expanding range of progenitors and pre-Nova environments and triggers. Should have been pretty obvious when they've long known how variable these blasts can appear. Never should have believed those were all the same mechanism or type of star. Today, we see them finding the range of recurrent Nova stars changing again this time towards different kinds of white dwarfs, expanding the progenitor and mass ranges of what they believed those stars could be. And also, a new class of nova events. Folks, this makes more new kinds of nova discovered in the last five years than they discovered in the previous 50. And today, it's ellipsars, which they say are equatorial blasts from oblate imperfect spheres. The eventual end line of all these studies will be to finally recognize that our sun doesn't just have one nova coming at the end of its life, but several, and has already had several. In fact, it's the only way to explain all of the recurring evidence coming with Earth's catastrophe cycle. If anyone hasn't seen this yet, where have you been? And if you didn't catch last night's video, and if you give any sliver of a care about this kind of information, or the observers, it's critical you check out last night's video where I lay out all the coming changes, and I also drop several hints of things I usually try not to discuss on YouTube because I don't want to get banned, like the intentional destruction of the food supply. But anyway, we greatly appreciate your support. Watch last night's video. If you haven't seen the Earth Disaster documentary, that's in the link list below every morning news video, including this one. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.